Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. How you doing? I know it's been a minute. I'm so sorry. I totally botched the whole week because I've been so busy. Um, I, I missed the shout out Sunday. I'm so sorry. I will make up for it this Sunday. Uh, I worked 10 hours door dashing on Sunday. I was exhausted. I was hurting. Uh, so Monday was pretty much a write off for me. And then today I'm like just starting to get back to feeling better. <laughs> and then I got to do it all over again Tuesday, uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, I work off Saturday, work Sunday. It's like, oh, this is actually turning into a freaking job. <laughs> this was just supposed to be for extra cash, you know, to pay off some bills. But um, yeah, so uh, I still haven't got my room done. I still have my cabinet I got to build. I was going to do that today and I just really didn't feel like it. I barely was able to get on to do this video, <laughs> so, but I'm doing it. Okay, I have a few things to talk about today. Yeah. Um, okay, you remember I was telling you about Vanessa, who was making the yarn for me. Um, she contacted me and said, Sandy, guess what? I just found some yarn in my stash that I know you can use. Would you like it? Hello. Is that a question? <laughs> So she sent me a picture and I was like, um, yes, hello. Okay. So, uh, I went and I picked it up and it is gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Let's see if I, I hope this lighting will do it justice. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. And she like, look at the variants of color. Like, oh, so pretty. And then there's a black. She get, threw in a couple of black ones. Nope, that's the purple one. Um, and then she had a couple more Hanks. Oh, look at this. Oh, is that gorgeous or what? Absolutely just gorgeous. I'm loving it. Okay. And then she threw in a couple hanks of a black and gray. Oh, I just absolutely love this yarn. Like, oh, so this yarn is, um, it's poly cotton and silk polyester cotton and silk and i'm just so excited to do something with it like i've got all of this in the one color look at the green and uh, the teal and that oh like seriously like these two are two oh did you hear that that was my stomach i hope you didn't hear that <laughs> Oh, so I'm definitely going to be making something with this. Not sure what yet. Maybe a keyhole scarf. I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, she has a bunch of different yarns coming up soon. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody that went over and bought some of her yarn when she had the big 50% off sale. Um, my bad. I am so sorry. I said to you guys that the 50, 15% coupon, the Yarnaby coupon code would work. It did not. Etsy does not allow coupons on top of sales for some reason. So yeah, darn it. But you, but you know, for any yarn that wasn't on sale, uh, the 15% would work. Um, so just to let you know, if you go to her website, I will leave that link down below. Uh, it's Yarnaby uh, in all capitals. 
and it's for 15% off of all the yarn on her shop. So you can go over there and use it right now. All of her prices are absolutely crazy low, crazy low. Okay, so um, I mean, even without the 50% off, 50 sale, her, her yarn is ridiculously inexpensive so um and it's good quality it's like it's really nice stuff so i'm finally able to get fancy yarn that i can use i'm just so excited <laughs> so anyways uh go check her her etsy page out and um right now she's working on some different stuff for me to sell for you guys yeah yep it's coming up soon and yes she said she would be uh willing i had a few people ask me if i'm going to video her dyeing the yarn and she said yes absolutely she would like to do that for you because uh, some of you were asking how she dyes her yarn on a sailboat because she lives on a sailboat so we're going to address that next this wonderful thing right here this is the kari keyhole scarf by Ruby Baby, Ruby Baby, there we go. I will leave her link down below. Uh, I've made a few of these and this was made out of um, cookie yarn. And I believe, is this, uh, I don't think this one's the color. No, that's for this one. Um, Oh yeah, it is. It's the same one. The colorway is uh, 46216. And it looks like this. I love the way it turned out. Uh, I wanted it a little bit thicker, so I used two balls uh, for two strands of yarn because I find that the yarn is a little thin for me. <clears throat> so I wanted to have a little bit of bulk to it. So there you have it. I also, out of the same stuff, I had uh, three or four uh, uh, cakes of this. So I decided that I was going to finally make Darla, Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla, I was going to make one of her tops. I'm telling you, I had so many problems, not with her pattern, not with her tutorial, not anything like that. It was just the universe was not with me. I'm, I was losing, I lost my crochet hook. I couldn't find it. Um, every time I tried to sit down to, to crochet, I'd end up having to door dash or I'd have to do something else. Um, I, I was trying, I was having a really hard time finding the time. <laughs> And then, you know, I lose my stitch markers and, and then I thought I was going to run out of yarn and I found one more cake. So I took the inside, um, strand and the outside strand. And now I'm starting to use those two to finish it off. I don't think this one is going to fit me. Um, I think it may end up being a medium to large uh only because i didn't have enough yarn so but i'm not finished it yet i'm just starting the other side of it oh where is it here so that's the way it's going to look when it's done i'm almost done i have a couple more rows to do on the one side uh this side I have a couple more rows and then I just sew up the sides and Bob's your uncle. So yeah, it's going to look really pretty when it's done. Oh, I guess it goes this way because that's the V-neck. Um, I really like it. I really like it. Uh, but I do know now that if I'm going to use the two strands, I'm going to need probably four cakes to make it for my size um yeah so that kind of sucked but that's okay because maybe i'll 
use it in a giveaway. So, or maybe I'll just put it in my Etsy shop. I don't know. But I'm really, it's such an easy pattern. It's really easy. If you've never done one of Darla's patterns, uh, one of her tutorials, you got to go check it out because she makes it easy for anybody to do. <clears throat> so I really, really have been wanting for a long time to be able to do one of her tutorials. And I just, I keep going off in different directions and never get a chance to actually sit down and do it. So yeah, so now I'm doing it <laughs> and now it's summer or it's summer starting. So yeah. Um, oh, what I'm wearing is I think a pattern that I, I did myself uh, a couple of summers ago. I don't even remember. I'll, I'll try and recreate it. Maybe I'll do a tutorial. Um, it's not hard stitch at all. Uh, but you know, I got to try and remember how I did it. <laughs> I'm sure I've got it written down somewhere. Okay. Another thing that I finished. Um, oh, I don't have it in here. I, um, I, I've been using it, so I haven't got it in here, but uh, Miss Hootie Hooten, Miss Hootie Hooten in crafts. Uh, she made me a purse, if you remember, and uh, she inspired me to make something purse like myself. So um, <clears throat> I went and I found, you may have seen this on my Facebook page or my Instagram, but here it is. Uh, and I've got my little pom-pom on here. So it looks like it's black and white, but if you look real close, it's not. It's gold and black. And it's like a tinsel, gold tinsel. Oh. It was made out of the Boogie Nights by Lion Brand. You can see the tinsel there. This stuff is crazy soft, crazy soft. I was shocked when I opened it. I've had this now for quite a while and I haven't opened the bag um, because I, I looked at it and I was like, oh yeah, okay. Uh, I'll use it later because maybe it's not going to be so soft. I'll have to use a basket and make a basket or something out of it. When I opened it, holy cow i want to make a shirt out of this i really do because it is crazy crazy soft um i used two strands of it in this purse so this purse is actually pretty heavy it's very sturdy um and yeah and then i got the these on amazon but uh yeah, so that's, I did that. I did that. I was kind of happy with that. I'm proud of myself. But it, the pattern for this is called, where's my ugh, thing here? I wrote it down. It's called the Oreo bag, like the cookie. <laughs> and it's by Craigie's Crochet. I will leave that link down below as well. Oh, I have a new addition. This is not going to be my regular setup, by the way. Uh, I, again, um, I still have to put my shelf over here and then I'm going to shift everything over and whatever. But um, look at these. I love them, love them, love them. And I have another sign coming that is going to be my, my, um, channel name. I'm so happy. Uh, I finally am going to have a channel name sign guys. Like it's only taken me two years to do it. Right. Um, this, these signs were made by Brenda, the newbie crocheters husband. Okay. I will leave her link down below as well. Um, I, I absolutely adore these signs. Absolutely. Now I don't have to say, I, you know what, whenever I do my videos, I never say, Oh, don't forget to like, and subscribe and do all the things. Right. I completely forget to do it. Um, cause you know, 
it's just one of those things that I just, I just forget. No, I don't have to. <laughs> so thank you so much, Brenda. Thank your husband for me. I can't wait to get my next sign. It shouldn't be much longer before it gets here. So I can't wait for that. And the funny thing is, I've been arguing with my um, postmaster for a while because every time I mail something out that's in a small, like a, a small mailer, they keep saying to me, oh, it's a small package, so you're going to get small package price, right? And I says, no, it fits in a mail slot. And they're going, no, no, it doesn't, and all this. Their, their thing that they gauge the mail slot is like this big. And it's like, most mail slots are bigger than that. So that really ticks me off. I think it's a cash cow grab thing because, you know, like seriously. And then you got mailboxes, right, that are like huge, you know, so whatever. But anyways, these signs, they're fairly thick, right? They fit in my mail slot. Just saying. Uh, I was a little surprised because they were one on top of the other. So they were twice that thickness and they fit through my mail slot. So, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's the difference between Canada and the U.S., I guess. Okay, so my room update. Um, like I said, I just have that cabinet that I got to build. I'm probably going to, now that George is home, maybe I'll do it now. Like, um, and you know, whatever, uh, get that in here and then put some more yarn on there. And hopefully I will have this room pretty much rearranged. It's just taking me a little time. George is home. I can hear him rattling out there. Uh, so yeah, once it's done, I will give you a view of, I've pretty much shown you mostly everything, but I'll, I'll show you the view again when I get it finished. I, <laughs> I decided that I was going to try Noom. If you haven't heard of Noom, Noom is a new diet thing, new diet program. That has been all over Facebook, all over Instagram, all over everywhere. TV, YouTube, you name it. It's everywhere. And I decided that I was going to try it. Why not, right? There was a, a one-month trial. So I thought, okay, fine. But it wasn't really a trial. It's like you paid $25 or however much to you know, pay the coach or whatever, which the coach was absolutely no use to me. Um, and then once that trial's over, then they charge you like $199 for the next six months. So, okay, I'm going to try this. Oh my God, you guys. I tried for three days. I tried Noom. It was horrific. It was ridiculous. It's no wonder people are losing weight on this stuff. They are starving people. I mean, if anybody out there is on Noom and it's working for you, perfect. Great. It did not work for me in three days. I knew ex exactly what was happening. And I, I was like, no way. I'm not doing this. Because... Um, it didn't matter what I put in my mouth. I mean, it, what it does is it's got green, yellow, red. Your green is your, you can eat as much as you want of that. Basically, it's like your leafy greens and your, all the good stuff. The yellow is your, you can, you can have some of this that's limited to your calorie intake and all that kind of stuff. The red is no. And, you know, you might be able to have a little bit, but as long as you're in your, within your, your caloric intake, you know, that it should be fine. Right. 
um, they said, they say on it, oh, you should eat foods that have a lot of water in them. Celery, watermelon, grapes, stuff like that. I'm like, great. And then I put it into the Noom app. Zoom. It says red, 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 red. I was 400 calories uh, over in the red zone from eating two eggs, two pieces of bacon in a wrap. That was my breakfast. I went, what? Excuse me? No. And I was, I still had for my total calories for the day. I was only half, like my breakfast took up half of my calorie intake for the whole day. On two eggs, a piece of bacon or two pieces of bacon and a wrap. Um, okay. Uh, this isn't working for me. And then I try, I put in that I had, um, an outside round steak. They said, way out of my calorie range. What? Uh, they said that the amount of steak, the, the amount of meat that you're supposed to have should be no bigger than a deck of cards. Are you serious? Uh, okay. So... I, I don't eat normally anyway, like I'll have my coffee in the morning and then I'll be crocheting all day. I might have a little snack, like a piece of cheese or something during the day, and then I'll have my dinner. So I really don't eat a lot anyway, but when I tried to eat my three meals a day, I didn't even get past breakfast and it was telling me, no, you're way over. And I'm going, this is ridiculous. So I went, it's out. I said, no, I'm not doing this. So I quit that and I decided, you know what? I'm going back to keto because at least with keto, I was able to eat good food. I wasn't, um, wanting for anything. I was full and it was, I was losing weight on it, right? With Noom, in three days, I gained ten, two pounds. Really? So I went back to keto. I was on it for another three days and I lost three pounds. Boom. And I thought, really? Like, wow, okay, I'm staying back on, I'm going to stay on keto again. And also, I've been putting in about 3,000 steps per day now. I didn't yesterday, and I didn't, no, I did, did yesterday because my sister and I went to Costco. <laughs> so, you know how much you walk in Costco. Um, I haven't done any steps yet today. I'm going to go on the treadmill later, probably. Uh, but... You know, I, I couldn't believe it. Like I was just, it, it I, I just don't even know. So I have my keto coffee in the morning now. Um, I put a little bit of butter in my coffee. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's not as bad as it sounds. Um, and then I have, I don't put MTC, MCT oil in my, in my coffee. Uh, but I do put a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla, and then um, Truvia, which is an artificial sweetener. So I put that in my coffee and it's so far so good, you know. So sorry, George is on the phone with a customer. Um, but anyway, I, you know, today I haven't eaten much. I had, I went to Costco and I got what's called Buddha bars. And they're actually really good. They've got the... Um, chocolate chip and they have the coconut in the same box and I scanned them into my carb manager and perfect you know they were great you know but I did find that I 
I bought these cauliflower crackers from Costco that are supposed to be keto. They were red zone. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but that's okay because I didn't eat a whole lot yesterday. So I was able to eat like, and the crackers are like, like mini, mini, mini crackers. Like they're so small. Um, and I was able to eat like 40 of those. And I had this artichoke dip that I get from Costco, which is also keto friendly. I'm just like, yes. Um, and it's just, it's great. You know, so that was my evening snack. Um, and then tonight I'm going to, I've got steaks in the oven and I'm going to chop them all up and I'm going to put them into a salad tonight for me and then make potatoes or whatever for George. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, <sighs> but it's been, it was a struggle on Noom. I couldn't do it. There was just no way it might work for you guys or for anybody that's on Noom, but I, I couldn't do it. I was so frustrated and I thought, no, I'm not going to do that to myself. I can't aggravate, aggravate myself like that. Right. Um, so that's okay then. Um, okay. The last thing I have to talk about is the scorched earth challenge that Dana from Wonderlust Crochet is doing. Um, I was having a really hard time with it. As you know, if you saw that video, hmm, let's not even talk about that video. Uh, I was really frustrated. I was, my crojo was down. Um, so I decided to kind of change it up a little bit, but I would like to show you this. Look at that. I have space in that cabinet that I was saying was part of my scorched earth challenge. <laughs> Yay. Um, so it, oh, oh, okay, now I can't figure out where I put the camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Um, so I did get quite a bit used up. Cause I did do a few blankets and stuff like that. Uh, I think I showed them to you already. Um, and then I've just been doing like little projects and, and all that. So I am getting there. It's only been what she started this in April. So yeah. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> I do have my crojo back. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm, like full of ideas and and stuff like that that I want to get done and now I'm finding that I don't have the time because I'm dashing uh, but that's okay I'll figure it out um, but yeah my crojo is back I've <sighs> seeing all this yarn um, isn't so daunting anymore uh, and I, I do have some coming I have a couple packages coming that I'm so excited about. Yes. I actually have one package that's supposed to be coming today. Uh, that I, it's an acquisition that I bought. I am so stoked about it. And it's really going to help me with all of this. So yeah. Um, I'll show that in another video. So yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I, I looked at we've got a box beside the fireplace that we use for um for when we have a fire just fire starter and i've got a ton of ball bands in there so i must have been doing something <laughs> you know <laughs> i guess um but yeah it's um i got a lot a lot of things i want to do a lot of ideas i really want to get on doing some tutorials for you guys uh, I got to work on that. So we'll see how it goes though. But, uh, anyways, I'm going to go because I think George wants to talk to me about some stuff because he's lingering over here and, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, and thanks for watching. I love you all. Bye. Bye.